Good morning, Maya. Good morning, Miss Van Winkle. I heard you talking about that big word, temptation. I'm not sure what it is or what it means or how you enter into it. Is it something I can see or a place that I can go to? Not really. Let me try to explain, Maya. Our enemy, the devil, is always trying to get us to do things that are not pleasing to God. We call these things sin. The devil or the sin that is in us tempts us. The temptations come to us like little voices. They tell us to say or think or do something that is wrong. Here's an example. Do you like chocolate chip cookies? Oh, yes. I love them. Do you have some? Mm, I might, but not right now for you, Maya. Let's use these cookies to help you understand temptation. Pretend that your mommy made you some cookies and told you to eat only one. Would that be easy or hard? Well, that would be really hard. Yes, it would. You might eat your cookie, but then a little voice in your head might say, take another cookie when your mom isn't looking. The idea that you should disobey your mom and take the cookie, that's a temptation. At that moment when you are tempted, what should you do? Uh, you could walk away. I know, I could disobey my mom and eat the cookie. Mm, that's what you could do, Maya, and that's what happens when you give in to or fall into temptation. We're all tempted to do wrong, and sometimes we listen to that voice and do the wrong thing. You know, when Jesus was in the garden, the disciples were tempted to fall asleep, weren't they? Yes. And Jesus... He was tempted too, do you remember? What did Jesus tell his disciples to do when he knew they would be tempted? He said, he said they should pray. And you know what we can do when we're tempted? Well, we can pray too. Yeah, we know that Jesus is ready to hear our prayers and to help us say no to temptation. And we have some Bible words today. Ooh, let's look. Yeah, let's look at them. They're over here on our page 14. And they are green workbook, and at the top of that page it says, stop. But the Bible words are at the bottom. It says, pray that you may not enter into temptation. And that comes from the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 40. Back on your stickers, you actually have those words. Oops, my stickers are sticking together. There we go. And I would like for you to take those stickers and put them at the bottom of page 14. Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Now at the top of the page, it says S-T-O-P, stop. And I want you to look at this page carefully because there are some people on this page that were tempted. Look at Eliza. Eliza's dad said, put away your books, please. What will Eliza do? Well, she might be tempted to do something she shouldn't do. What might she do? She might be tempted to ignore her dad and not put her books away, right? I hope not, though. I hope she follows those directions, even though she doesn't want to. Sometimes temptations are really hard. Let's look at the next one. Connor. Connor said bad words to Ethan. Ooh. What will Ethan do? You know, sometimes when things don't go our way, we're tempted to use bad words, boys and girls. We are. Should we use those bad words? No. That's a temptation. And if we give in to temptation, we're going to say those words. But hopefully, with the power of prayer, we're not going to say those words at all. Sometimes situations happen, and we can talk about it. All right, let's look at the next one. Aiden wants to play with Mason's truck. What will Aiden do? Well, I guess he could grab it. He's probably tempted just to grab it. Might be tempted to say, give it to me. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, he can maybe use his words and say, can I have a turn? Or when you're through, can you give it to me so I can play with it too? That's hard to do by ourselves, boys and girls, isn't it? We do need some help. And last, when it was time to leave for school, Ava's mom asked, Did you brush your teeth, Ava? But Ava had not brushed her teeth. What will Ava say? You know, boys and girls, it might be easy for Ava to lie and to say, Yeah, I did, but that's not what you're supposed to do. Ava needs to be strong and to tell her mom, Nope, I forgot. Let me go do it real quick. 
and get it over with. Don't be tempted to lie. But all of us have really faced temptations already, even in kindergarten. Some temptations are like the ones we talked about. Did you know that Jesus was tempted just like we are? Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. He asked his Father to take away what he had to do. But the Heavenly Father wanted Jesus to die on the cross to save all people from sin. Jesus did not give in to that temptation. He was crucified and died for you and me, so our sins can be forgiven. That is sad news, but it is also good news because we know that after three days of death, Jesus rose. He conquered sin. He conquered death and even the devil. 